Good morning, everyone. It's Vlogaday's Day 25. Some of you guys don't know, but David is actually off on Fridays, so we are starting the day with Advent. It is Advent Day 18. <coughs> oh my heck, got that cough. CBD. How do you know, honey? <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's the original Rudolph movie, honey. That's Isn't that his cute. Black Friday deal? I thought that'd be fun to have. Yeah. The original. David's so thrilled about it. <laughs> so it's now 4.25. I got off work uh, a little under an hour ago. And now I'm back with David. He has spent most of the afternoon shopping for Christmas presents for me. Fighting everybody through the crowds and... That's what happens when you wait. Yeah, wait for just, Christmas. I'm, now on, I'm just going to go Christmas Eve. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, so we're actually headed to the mall, which is not exactly where I want to be going um, the week before Christmas. <laughs> But this morning, I actually won two free meals at Chick-fil-A in the mall. They have this like Facebook contest on their Facebook page where they have their little cow, like a stuffed cow that's their mascot, and they like hide it in different places in the mall, and then they post a picture of it on their Facebook page, and the first person to guess where the cow is wins two free meals. And they started it on Monday, and every single time I've seen it, it just like pops up in my newsfeed. I'm not like following it like religiously or anything. But every time I see the picture, I know exactly where it is because I worked at the mall for like four years. I worked at six different stores, so I know the mall like the back of my hand. So I've known every single one of them, but by the time I see it on my newsfeed, someone's already commented. So this morning I saw it and there was no comments and I knew exactly where it was and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I commented and I won, so I'm excited. So we're going to go have an early dinner at Chick-fil-A um, and then we're probably going to head over to Walmart again because... <sighs> They didn't have lime sherbet at Target, and I really need it for a recipe that I'm making. And I have quite a bit of money invested in this recipe because it requires three bottles of champagne. So that was like 20 bucks right there just for the champagne, and then you have to have ginger ale and like a bunch of other stuff. And there wasn't any lime sherbet at Target. So we're going to go to Walmart because the recipe that I read online, um, the woman who did it said that that's where she got hers. So I'm crossing my fingers that they have lime sherbet. They have lemon sherbet at Target. I feel like I could probably use that. I don't know if it would be green, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they have it. And then there's a couple other things that Target didn't have. They didn't have like little mini hot dogs because they're making pigs in a blanket. Like, what the heck, Target? Where, where, are, where are your little mini hot dogs? And I didn't even see a place for them. So I don't know. So we have a few more things to get and then we'll be headed home. And hopefully we can get some party stuff done tonight. But we have all day tomorrow. We had tossed up the idea of having the party tonight originally and I'm so glad we did it because I have a lot to do and I don't think I would have had enough time to get it all done so anyway maybe we'll vlog at the mall and show you the crazy crowd hopefully it's not too bad well that was easy we just walked right up told him we won the contest and they gave us free food so David got a did you get a spicy chicken sandwich yeah and I just got um chicken nuggets we both got fries and drinks and it was completely free what about that honey it's exciting, Merry Christmas. It's a line to meet Santa. Got the Chick-fil-A Santa cow out. <laughs> so I made it home. This is my current situation. I'm trying to respond back to all the Christmas cards I received. I have this huge stack that I just responded to and I have three left and I will officially be caught up, which is great because I only have three Christmas stamps left. So there's that. David's over here in our very messy kitchen, cooking away. He just made, well, he just boiled the um, eggs for deviled eggs. And he's getting ready to make the stuffing, and I'm gonna stuff them. <laughs> they, I wanted him to make them tonight because um, it smells like it smells weird when you make deviled eggs. Like it smells like a big old fart in your house. So I wanted to get it done tonight so that way it could be done, and then we don't have to worry about the house smelling funny tomorrow. David's very stressed out. I can't handle it. He has so much to do. He doesn't even know. <laughs> you don't even know, honey. No, I have a lot to do. David's a non-multitasker. What else are you going to do tonight? You're going to make the um, cookie, dough. cookie dough for Twilight's cookies. That's it, right? That's all you're doing tonight? And then tomorrow you got to get ice and... 
Six, 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 six. Cook all day. Work on you the have to car. cook all day? What are you cooking all day, honey? What are you making all day? I have to make taco. He's making dip. a taco dip when you just like throw everything in a pan. You don't even cook it. That's the only other thing. It. Oh, I did it again! Honey! Get it together! Just put in the stuff. We found um, lime sherbet, by the way, in case you guys are interested. Uh, we actually didn't even go to Walmart. We looked at um, Publix. We had to go to a liquor store because I'm making jello shots. I need to do that tonight. I'm making jello shots for the very first time. I have never made a jello shot. I've never had a jello shot, so this should be interesting. But the uh, liquor store that we went to was right next to Publix, so we ran into Publix just to see if they had what we needed, and they did. So I found lime sherbet at Publix. So if you are looking for some, check out Publix. They had it. It was just like Publix brand. 250. Can't be. Okay. I'm stepping on everything. Falling over. Here's Remy. Here's cuddled up on the little, what's that called? Rug. <laughs> on the dirty floor. <gasps> Hello, Remy. He's a pretty girl. I was just getting ready to put my laundry in the wash and I hear David yelling, come here, come look at this. <laughs> so I guess he thinks, I don't know, he thinks that this it was like a twin. <laughs> there was it two was. yolks, but they were all mashed together from cooking. That was a twin. Know. You could definitely tell there was two yolks in there, for sure. You never mm. heard of a twin egg? There was definitely I've a twin. I've heard of one. I just don't think it looks like that. Definitely. It sounds really sad when you say twin egg. Like, don't, don't say that. <laughs> You're going to make me not eat eggs now. No red meat and then no eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, but the thought of it freaks me out. Ooh. Here is my love <laughs> adding Garlon to our What? Garlon? Garland? <laughs> I'm trying I think Garlon to make... is a chemical that kills plants. Yeah. I'm trying to make our house look as tacky as possible. <laughs> tacky? We don't live in a tacky house, honey. It has to look tacky and crazy. Honey, I was hand, I was holding the camera crooked. Well, what else now? <laughs> anyway, I bought this garland at the Dollar Tree um, because I was going to use it for my sweater, and then my mom had a different garland that actually looked better, so I used that. And then I was going to try and exchange this, but then I was like, you know what? I think I have a few spots in the house I could throw this up and make it look tacky tastic. <laughs> tacky tastic. So I think it'll add some more flair. It's not, I've gone to the party store, I've gone to Hobby Lobby, I've gone to Target, I've gone to Walmart, trying to look for like super festive, um, ugly sweater party. Yeah. Okay, David's taking over because look at this. I'm standing on a chair. David's not. <laughs> but anyway, I've been trying to look for um, decorations. Because I figured, you know, ugly sweater parties are kind of popular now, but they don't have really anything. Maybe in the next few years they'll start coming out with stuff, but working on the decorations. I think it's going to be cute. All right, we're giving this jello shot thing a go. David's lining up the cups over there. We doubled the recipe, so we're using the Jolly Rancher watermelon jello. And we, are, we boiled two cups of hot water, and then we put in two packets of Jolly Rancher jello. And now we're going to add two cups of cold vodka and I heard that you're supposed to add flavored vodka so if you're having watermelon Ready? jello shots yeah you should add watermelon vodka and we're making green apple ones as well so I don't know if our bowl's gonna be big enough <laughs> so we have green apple vodka and I learned all this from YouTube That's yeah. yeah um Alex Mandel who is Howie Mandel's son has a drinking YouTube channel where he shows you how to make all kinds of different shots and stuff. So I learned this from him. So if it's not good, I'm blaming him. <laughs> oh gosh. It's not come over. Ooh, that was close. Alright, first one. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's good. Put it back into the um, measuring cup just so it was easier to pour. I'm excited. All right, we've got our green apple jello shots going now. Um, so we boiled two cups of water. We used two packets of Jolly Rancher sour, not sour, just regular green apple 
um, jello and then we're putting in two cups of very cold um, flavored vodka so for this one we're using the Smirnoff green apple and we put them in the freezer that way they'd be nice in cold since you're supposed to add a cup of cold water I heard that you can use just regular like if you went to the store and you just have you know vodka that's not cold you can use it it just takes longer to set up but we froze ours and then we're mixing it up it smells so good I wish you guys could smell it it does smell so good we made them green and red for Christmas colors. It's gonna be fun. The fridge is looking pretty festive. Got our jello shots. Red and green. I'm gonna try and shape them into a Christmas tree to put on the table. I think it's gonna be really cool. Got deviled eggs, all our food that we've been making. And the only other thing I'm gonna make tonight is some chocolate covered pretzels. So, yeah, can't wait. Dave and I just successfully hung. Uh, wrapping paper as the backdrop to our uh, what are we calling this photo booth photo backdrop anyway uh, I showed you guys the other day I set this up grab a prop take a shot still working on a hashtag for the party and then my mom is letting us borrow all these different Christmassy fun props you just have it on a little table here so I think that's gonna be fun I think I don't know I'm looking forward to taking pictures so there's that. I'm really excited. And we just hung it with um, painter's tape. So I don't really want to rip it off. But there's painter's tape rolled up and we just stuck it on. And we tried our best to measure it out. And we had just enough paper for this. So and we made sure it was high enough to where when David's in it, his head doesn't end up in the wall. <laughs> so I ran out of room in my office to hang all of your cards. So David and I just hung some more ribbon over here. David's so cute. He got his, um, what's it called? Tape, tape measure. measure. <laughs> it's too late. He got his tape measure out and measured it all so it would all be even. So we have three strands going all the way down. So there's a bunch of your cards. I officially am caught up on cards, at least the ones that are in my house. I haven't checked the P.O. box in a couple of days. Actually, yesterday I think I checked it. So I'm caught up. So if you see your card, I have responded to you. So you should be getting it soon if you haven't already. The only bad thing about this is I still have this stack of cards that need to be hung. But I just ran out of clips, so I'm hoping Honey will maybe get me some tomorrow while he's out. Because so I want to get them all hung for the party so I can see all of your cards because they're so pretty and they're special to me. And I just, I really appreciate you guys sending me, sending me cards. And it's funny because this card I actually got two of. Um, so two of you sent me the same card, and I think that's so, so funny, because, I mean, there's so many Christmas cards out there, and I got so many this year that I'm actually kind of surprised I only had one matching one, but, yeah, that's fun, so there's a bunch of them. So it's almost 11.30, and I'm just now getting started on the chocolate over pretzels, but David's about to go to sleep, and I was like, well, what the heck, I want to try a jello shot, I'm going to take my first jello shot by myself, so they're, I think they're pretty much ready. Usually people use their finger to like get it up from the rim, but I'm gonna use a toothpick because that's just classier. You know, gotta be classy when you're taking a jello shot. I'm gonna scrape it. How do I do this? You just like pop it in your mouth. This is mm -hmm. so classy. <laughs> Nervous. You're still gonna have to use your finger. It's not gonna come out. You have to use your finger and get it separate underneath. Toothpick what? Under a toothpick doesn't oh, bend like that. That's trashy. You can't cut it up like that. <gasps> I mean it. Oh man, I messed up. <laughs> it's coming. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Ay ay ay. Mmm. Mmm. Some definitely taste alcohol. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you're supposed to need a chaser after you have a jello shot. Ah. See, you did use your finger. Well, you, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, David's gonna be the tester of the green apple jello shot. All right. He's going full finger. <laughs> this is the real way to do it. Teach us how. You have to separate so it like that. 
And all the way underneath, so it's all Ew. in one. Looks nasty. Put the fingers clean. <laughs> Ready? All right, go for it. <laughs> Ooh, that's so gross. Is it good? Is it strong? <laughs> I told you I didn't want to make them that strong. Ooh. <laughs> so when I saw it online, it said that you should add a cup of alcohol to the jello and I was like I'll put half a cup of alcohol and half a cup of water to make it one full cup and everyone said do not do that you need to make them strong yeah we'll be liking <laughs> that tomorrow yeah alright so now that all that jello shot nonsense is over it's back to making the chocolate covered pretzels and I do want to add that David and I do drink occasionally but not like all the time we're not like crazy drinkers or anything but we haven't had a party in a really long time and I mean come on it's fun. All of our friends are like around the same age and it's just fun. But anyway, we are making, well, I am making, David has gone to bed. I am making, I already ate those, but I am making chocolate covered pretzels. So I have green, white, and red chocolate. I use the Wilton's candy melts. If you've been following me for a while and you've seen any of my party prep kind of vlogs, you know that I love these. Uh, they're great. I actually got all three of these bags on Black Friday for I want to say two dollars a piece and I didn't put the whole bag in I just put like half a bag in each one and then I add like a little tiny bit of Crisco to each color and that just kind of helps thin it out so that way when I put the um, pretzel in it's nice and smooth and I can um, like shake it off and it looks nice so I'm gonna work on this and I will show you guys um, the progress when I get there it's a little after midnight and here we still are I have one um, paper full of pretzels i tried to make some of them cute and like put the different colors on um but like yeah obviously not the next greatest baker <laughs> so i think i'm just gonna do them all plain because whatever like i don't want them to look like that so try what i'm gonna end up doing i still have quite a bit to go um i started this what 11 20 ish and i thought i was like getting my second wind and i'm like slowly fading well not slowly i'm quickly fading i'm so exhausted but this is kind of a project that you can't really stop once you got started i mean i know i could probably put these in the fridge and throw some paper towel wet paper towels over them but i just don't want to do that i want to get this done so hopefully i can be done by one because i am exhausted but thankfully our party is not until 8 p.m tomorrow so i can sleep in that'll be wonderful well, I called it a little after 1 a.m. it is, and I am finally finished with my chocolate covered pretzels. I have my first batch over here in this container all ready to go, and then these are just finishing up um, cooling. I do have a lot more white than I do red and green because I decided I was just going to make the whole bag of each bag and just heat it up and use all of them. But then I realized as I was making the white pretzels that I was going to run out of pretzels before I ran out of chocolate, and I don't want to waste the chocolate, so I went ahead and made the whole bag of white since I already had it ready to go and then I just did whatever I had in the red and green so it's kind of a bummer but I'm not really worried about it especially at 1 a.m. so anyway um, the ones that are on the paper are hardening and then I will put them in the ziploc before I go to bed so while those are hardening I am going to take a shower and get ready for bed I am super exhausted but like I said earlier really happy that I get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm so excited that tomorrow is finally the day. I feel like I've been waiting to, okay, I just feel like I just spit on myself. <laughs> I feel like I have been waiting to have this party forever now, so I'm really excited that tomorrow is the day for our ugly sweater party. I'm really excited to share with you guys my ugly sweater. I think it's awesome. My mom did a really good job helping me. Uh, well, pretty much did the whole thing, and I'm really excited to share it. I will be posting pictures of it on Instagram tomorrow night, so if you're not following me, make sure to do so. All of my social media links are in the description box below so go check that out thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and of course stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog where i share with you our ugly sweater party so thanks for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow bye let's see how our ugly sweater will look here. no 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 <sighs> come here where's your head do it